future Broncos. On behalf of Project Caminos, welcome back for more of the Broncos Scoop. My name is Dakari. I'm a transfer student currently in my senior year. My major is psychology, and I'm also a student assistant of Project Caminos. So this episode features a proud representative of the undeclared program here at Cal Poly Pomona. During the interview, you'll hear about what undeclared means, resources to help you navigate your journey towards choosing a major, and more. Everyone, please meet Dr. Flores. Hello, everyone. Hi. Uh, it's so nice to be here today. Thank you so much. Uh, I am the undeclared advising program coordinator and slash advisor because I'm also uh, get the opportunity to meet with students and do one on one advising as well. So I'm happy to be here today. Yes, we're very happy to have you. I've been anticipating this interview for some time now, so I'm happy we're finally here. Me too. <laughs> okay, Dr. Flores. So we'll go ahead and just jump right in. So can you share a brief description about what undeclared means? Sure. So undeclared means, being undeclared means that uh, it could mean different things. It could mean that you still haven't decided, you, are, you haven't decided on one major yet. Maybe you're not passionate about one thing yet, right? Uh, maybe you have a lot of interests or even sometimes you just don't know, right? You want to explore majors. And so um, being undeclared really is all about exploring different majors, like really looking into these majors and trying to figure out based on your skills, on your interests, what would be the best fit for you? Yes, it's a very, very personal journey you go through when you discover what major you want to choose. Yes. Yeah. So when a student is admitted as undeclared, what can they look forward to when they transition into the college? So when you come in as undeclared, uh, well, you have a great support team. So I am the, like I said, I'm the, the coordinator slash advisor, but I also work closely with our undeclared advisor. Her name is Ebony Miles. Uh, she and I work together. We are one team uh, and we're really, you know, are there, right? We're the support net for our undeclared students. But in addition to having us as advisors, we also have academic coaches. So the way it works is every student in the program also so in addition to having an advisor, uh, has a student success coach. And so your coach is there to uh, make sure you're doing well, right? Make sure that you are transitioning to the university well as a student, right? What is it? How does it feel to be a college student in your first year? So our coaches, uh, so you as a student will get your uh, advisor and a coach as your support net during your first year at Cal Poly Pomona. Wow, I have to say, like, just thinking back on my, when I was a freshman right out of high school, if I had support like that, you know, you have your advisor, you can set a success coach, like just that nice foundation of support from the beginning, it truly sets you up for the rest of your journey at the college. So that is much appreciated. Yeah, yeah. Having that really that 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 this group or right, this team during the first year makes a big difference when you enter uh, uh, Cal Poly Pomona. Yes. So undeclared students are supported with many resources, and among those resources are major and career exploration activities. So can you give us a bit of insight into those exploration activities? Yeah, so one of the, so we have a lot going on throughout the year. Uh, so one of the main um, activities we have is we offer information sessions. So what we do is we've, we have connected with uh, other departments, right, with chairs in the different departments, and we ask them to uh, come and present to our students. So for example, we have had the chair every year, the chair of the biology department comes and speak with our, with, speaks with our students about what it means to be a biology major. And all of the different fields you can pursue with a biology major. Uh, also, we've had the chair of animal science come and talk about his field and the chair of animal health science. Um, we've had um, the chair, uh, we all recently had uh, a representative from the, the agricultural science major come and talk with our students. Uh, we've had uh, chairs of the engineering department come talk, discuss their majors. Um, you know, this information sessions 
you know, give the students the opportunity to learn firsthand about these majors, right? What better way to learn about these majors than hearing it from, than hearing the chair, right? The person, the expert in that field talk about why they're there, right? What they do and how they can help students. And so those information sessions are a big part of our program, but we also connect, we also make sure that we invite specific representatives. Like for example, the librarians, we have every year, every semester, our university librarians, we partner with two librarians and they present, uh, they do like a major discovery workshop for our students. And they talk about um, different assessments that they can find that are free that students can take to really learn about their skills, right? You know, I'm thinking of maybe pursuing something in psychology, right? What can I do with this major? And is that something that really it goes with my interests, right? Or my skills. And so the, they really, our librarians provide such a, uh, a wealth of information about fields of study, about research, right? And, and also are able to connect with students about, you know, what it means to be, to explore a major. So they offer a, a great workshop for our students. We also have uh, um, a career center liaison. So we work closely with the career center uh, so that our students, we connect our students directly with a counselor in the career center. And they also do, usually in the spring semester, uh, we have, two career counselors who come in and present on the different careers based on the different colleges we have at Cal Poly Pomona. So all of these resources plus advising, right? In our advising sessions, we go over these majors and we look at different uh, roadmaps and we look at the uh, different um, curriculum sheets for all these majors so that our students know about what Cal Poly offers and they get all of the information they need to make the right decision. So really it is a combination of different resources that we provide in this program. Yes, that's amazing. I, you talked about the meeting with the librarians and it's funny because I just met with um, Julie and Jennifer last week about their, uh, their assessments of helping students choose their major based on their personality. And I took the test myself and it turns out that I'm, I'm right on track. I got the social score and I'm in psychology, so it works really well. And just the fact that all the departments on campus are intertwined somehow to help students. Like there's more, there's so many avenues of help that you can get. If you just go to one department, you're bound to go see other ones too, just to like solidify that support that you've already received. So it's it's amazing to see the network of all the departments on campus. Yeah, it's important, right? It's important as you're exploring, right? You need to look, students need to see all of their options, everything that's available to them so that they can make the right decision. And um, it's reassuring, right? Once you take, like you said, yeah. a, an assessment and you that tells you you are in the right field, right? Or that that or you can be placed in different fields and knowing that, oh yeah, I would love to be a part of that or doing this or what I'm doing now. You know, the, the fact that you can connect to other fields is, is such a nice uh, experience as you're exploring majors. Yes, it's definitely a, a personal journey that you you feel affirmed by once you know you're going through everything and you get to the end and like, wow, look at where I started and now I'm here. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> so in order to give prospective students who may be applying as undeclared a sneak peek into their future, once they reach a point where they're ready to declare a major, what will that process look like? So once students have, so, you know, we make sure as, as again, advisors, we make sure students are aware from the beginning of what, you know, uh, what uh, are the requirements to declare specific majors. And so once their students have met those requirements, then they, it's pretty straightforward. They just need to submit an electronic form that then the each department chair will look at and, uh, and, and review, right? So once a student gets a, uh, once their uh, form gets approved and they get to declare that major, then we make sure to connect them with the advisors for that major. So we try to do that warm handoff, right? Where a student goes from uh, being undeclared, okay, now I've declared this major, what, where do I go now? So we are the ones who connect them, right? Okay, now that you're in this major, this is the advising center you need to speak with, right? Or this is the department you need to go to. So we make sure that students have a smooth transition uh, from being undeclared to their major. We, we want to help and make sure that they're well connected, right? That they know where to go after us. We, we, yes. we, it's important for us to know that students 
uh, feel at ease and are happy, right? It, we are very excited when students tell us, okay, or we tell them, you have declared it, you are in that major. It's very exciting knowing that um, our students had gotten that far and now they're going to go into a different phase of this college experience. So um, we make sure that they have a, a, good, a smooth transition. Yes, I could definitely hear the excitement and the passion in your voice when you talk about it. So that's that also is like a really nice feeling to know that, you know, the folks that are helping all of us uh, when we're in that stage that, you know, they're truly here to help. Like there's no there's no crazy questions. There's no there's no such thing as too many questions. There's just get your questions out and. If we can't answer it, we're going to figure out how to get your questions answered and to make sure that when you leave the department, you have what you need. Yeah, the, the, it's uh, again, just, you know, that that being able to connect well, earlier, we talked about how being able to connect with others. And so this is a great opportunity for us to provide that bridge. Right? So our students know where to go after uh, from after once they declare a major. So after all of that, what would be your best advice to students who are admitted as undeclared? So uh, one advice you know, we make sure to give all our students is to check their CPP email, right? Once they've been admitted to the university and they are admitted as undeclared, make sure you che- check your CPP email because we will be sending out a lot of information. Uh, but one and another important tip I'll give is to make sure that they meet with us for advising. Our students are required to meet with uh, our undeclared advisor, Ebony Miles, or with me uh, once every semester until they declare a major. So making sure students, making sure that you have on your calendar, okay, this month I must meet with my advisor, right? That is really important. Remembering that you need to meet with us and uh, is key. Um, in this major exploration process, really meeting with us is key so we can start from the beginning, you know, start the, the exploration process. Also, what is important is being open up to explore different majors, right? You are coming in as undeclared because you want to explore. You want to learn about everything that Cal Poly Pomona offers. So it's really important to be open to learning, to open to hearing, you know, the advice we give here, listening to others talk about their programs, right? Being open to all of these possibilities is also key um, when you come in as, as an undeclared student. That's honestly really exciting. Like just to think about back on like when I was a freshman coming from high school, like if I were able to go through something like that, just to hear all the different stories and it kind of, you never know what could, you know, spark an interest in you until you actually hear about it and hear someone from that field talking about it and hearing their passion. And you're like, wow, maybe I could get into this, you know? So it is, it is really important to make sure that you explore and choose something that you feel like you'd truly be passionate about. And especially with this proactive advising, that definitely helps to push the students along into the way that they want to be, you know, not trying to, you know, just make them pick the first thing that they want just to check off the list and move to the next student. You know, it's nice to hear that you guys are proactive and you make sure that you keep the communication open with students so that they know that they're supported throughout the entire journey, no matter what. That is correct. Yes, you put it in so beautiful words. Uh, yes, it's <laughs> it's knowing that they're you know we they that once they enter the university in this program, they have a good support team, right? We're the support net to make sure that every goes everything goes well d- during their first year uh, at Cal Poly. So we're we're happy to be a part of that process and being a part of that exploration process with students is very exciting for us as well. I could imagine. <laughs> So how can listeners learn more about your program? So uh, you can definitely, they can visit our website uh, on, on cpp.edu. Our website is uh, there. I don't know if there's any way or anywhere they can go to where we can post it. I'm not sure. Oh, yeah. I'll definitely drop a link in the description so that they can okay. navigate right to your website and be right on there. Yeah, so we have a lot going on. We have also a lot of resources on our website. We also have a calendar of events that we uh, have created so that our students know about anything that's happening in the university related to major exploration. Um, and then also I will be doing a presentation. I, I often do presentations for Project Camino, so I'm <laughs> very happy about that. So I will be doing one um, on uh, November 9th today at four. So from four to five. So, and uh, you know, if, if, if um, 
you can tune in and any, any day that we do that we uh, give a presentation that would be great um, it's it's nice to be able to speak with students about uh, you know what we do and and we hope to one day see them in their in our program if they want to explore majors yes definitely I will definitely make sure to drop that link in the description for you all so that you can go view the calendar attend any workshops and events that they have going on so that's going to bring us to the end of our interview today. Dr. Flores, thank you so much for joining us and for sharing all of this insightful information. Thank you so much for having me. I was very excited to be here. So thank you for the invitation. Mm -hmm.